Hello everyone, welcome to the second part of how to handle bounce, complaint and rejection from Amazon SES using Lambda and Serverless. So in last chapter, we talked about like how, uh, what is the Amazon SES, how it works and how we can handle the bounce, rejection and complaint using SNS, SQS and the Lambda. During that video, we went through the Amazon console and we learned how we can uh, create SNS topic and all those stuff. In this tutorial, I am going to talk about how we can achieve creation of that SNS topic, SQS, and Lambda function using serverless. So, in last chapter, last topic, we discuss about like this diagram where we talk about like a sending application will be getting stuff email where email need to be sent. Okay, and then it will be sending email through Amazon SES, and once Amazon SES once it can get any bounce or complaint from the bounce or complaint from the ISP it will be not notified to SNS and then SNS will send that notification to SQS and from the SQS will trigger the lambda and lambda will process that notification and will perform action like putting the object into database or marking the object as a bounce object or something like that. Uh, we'll be uh, achieving that using serverless so first we have to understand what is serverless the serverless framework is a framework which make using amazon uh, very simple so like there are there are different ways of creating resources in amazon okay you can use the cloud formation cloud formation api to create your infrastructure but instead of cloud formation serverless is a framework which has uh, which use cloud formation indeed but provide easy to use of iml or syntax which help us to create application in a good way so whenever you are working in, working using serverless framework you will be creating a server, uh, serverless.yml file so this is my serverless.yml file which I have created for achieving uh, what what we are trying to do. Let's go through that serverless.yml and understand. First thing is like service email API. So I have service email API means the name of the project will be email API. And then we can define the plugins like this project is serverless webpack and serverless offline. Okay. Then there is a provider section where we are uh, giving some information like this project will be running on Node.js 10.x current, current stage is dev it can be broad it can be QC or whatever and then currently we are working in uh, US East uh, one reason and then I am specifying the I am rule so effect is allow and these are the action I am allowing like sending an email public SNS publish, SQS send message, get URL, list queue, okay, and then lambda invoke function, invoke async and all. And then we can define, then we are defining the lambdas. So how we can define the lambda in serverless, we have to define the function and inside that we have, we can define it like this. So f will be name of one lambda. Okay, so handler index.handler. So we will be having an index.handler file. Okay, and then event section in this we define like how this particular lambda is triggered. So in this case, it will and this index.handler will be triggered by HTTP call and the method will be post. And then we have a email failure lambda. Okay, so email, uh, email failure.handler and I have used reserve concurrency 3. So using reserve concurrency, we control the number of lambda uh, which will be executing uh, in parallel. So it's basically maximum number of lambda which can execute parallelly so what happens is like sqs queue is there sqs queue is there if 10 messages come so it's quite possible that uh, 10 lambda might uh, 10 lambda might get created so if 100 messages are coming and our lambda is taking more time then there might be 100 lambda so it might destabilize our system and as well as it might uh, cost us more so we what we can do is like we can use reserve concurrency to restrict that so that only three lambdas will be active at a time will be working in parallel and then in event section we can specify the triggers so in this case for this lambda email feature lambda 
the trigger is SQS and then I'm defining the ER on of my SQS okay I'm using fn.get attribute uh, which is the cloud formation and intrinsic function which get the attribute from my environment so it will get the ERN of email failure queue okay so this is from where we have so it's taking basically two parameter here one like from where and what so it's getting email failure uh, getting ERN from email email failure queue okay and then we have the resource section this is where we define all the resources which need to be created by serverless uh, framework so i as per the diagram i was having one topic right so email failure topic so the type of that is aws essence topic and then uh, you in property section i am defining the name of that topic okay so it is ss failure topic dev so whatever uh, stays in top i dis uh, defined right like stays dev so it will take that uh, ses failure topic dev if it is broad it will be ses failure topic broad so like that so email failure queue then i have created a sqs queue and the same way the property queue name is this okay then I have to subscribe this queue to SNS right so this is how I am doing that so I am creating SNS subscription so AWS SNS subscriptions property topic ERN so here I am defining the ERN of the topic which we are going to subscribe okay so using reference you can uh, refer to this topic okay and then endpoint get attribute email failure queue arn and then we are subscribing using this endpoint okay so endpoint endpoint is defining where sns will send the notifications and we, protocol will define it's a email or sqs or http or lambda or whatever and then raw message delivery through means uh, you can send the raw messages and then uh, there is a important section like uh, this SQ, uh, SQS SNS policy okay so here we created the subscription but to send the uh, messages to SQS from the SNS we have to define this SQS SNS policy and inside that we are telling we are defining like SNS is allowed to send messages to rsqs okay so principal action sqs send message and then we are getting the attribute of our uh, uh, arn of email queue where source arn is email failure topic so basically what we are doing is in this sqs sms policy we are allowing our email failure topic to send sms sorry send messages to our sqs queue using sns queue policy sorry using sqs queue policy where the source arn is email failure topic and receiving is email failure queue dot arn okay and then it depends on this queue so this is how we can define that uh, depend dependency and once we run this serverless.yml using sls.deploy command sls.deploy command will go and will create this tag in your aws account if you see here email api dev which i have uh, created using this serverless so it will be something like this so after that if you are doing any update it will show that update complete and all then there will be it will be having events like deleted created and all and then it will be having information like 18 resources has been created output section parameter section template section and change set so basically this is how the serverless framework work and this is how you can handle the notification so this was the serverless.yml after that if you want to handle uh, code you can handle the notification you can do using 
lambda function so you have to write the lambda whenever you are writing a lambda function there will be handler and there might be three inputs one is like event another one is context and third one is callback okay so you can get the event records zero dot body using that you will be getting the uh, body section which is our notification okay in case of sqs and then we can process that and put in dynamo db or whatever we want to do so that's how we can handle the uh, server uh, bounds notifications uh, bounds notifications complain or rendering using serverless framework Thank you very much.